walls, keyboard entry rollout. So let's go up here in the create, the geometry, AXC extended, object type wall. Down here, I'm going to hit the plus sign and the keyboard entry. So in the keyboard entry, I can key in where I want my walls to start. I'm going to say I'm going to start at 20, comma, oop, I want a 20 there, 20, comma, 20 on the X and Y. So that's 20 units over and 20 units up. I say add a point. It's starting right here. You see where that's at. That's where the point is at. Now, my next point, I'm going to say I want to go up to 40 in the Y. I'm going to say add a point. So now I just added another point. Now I'm going to come over here and say I want this at 40, comma 40. I'll say add a point. And then I'm going to come back here and say, all right, I want to go this um, back here at, uh, say, 20, comma 40. I'm going to add a point. And I could actually come back here and say, well, I'm finished with my lines if I wanted to do that. But I go say close. When I say close, it goes back to the beginning and finish my line work. So I can say uh, finish at any time or close if I want to close back to the originating start point. If I drew a spline, so if I'd already draw a spline, which we'll learn in, in upcoming uh, videos, when I go to, to the wall, I can go to the keyboard entry and I can pick that spline and turn it into a wall. So this is for if I'm keying things in on exact coordinate entries. Uh, I can put in exact coordinates if I like. Uh, it's not as user-friendly as you would like unless you have exact points on a grid that you have to hit. 